Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. Hope you're doing well. In this lesson, I just wanted to introduce you to the world of triplets in a rather informal way. Now, on our YouTube channel, we've done a lot of triplet lessons with piano exercises, fillers. We've even done some bass lessons. You can check them out. But in this lesson, is just to show you how you can learn and how you can practice triplets in a very free, organic way. And uh, if you do it in these in in these styles, which I'm going to uh, teach you today in this lesson, you're going to be able to immediately make music, immediately compose music and uh, improvise music. Okay, first of all, uh, like an overview of triplets, you'll find them a lot in these epic movie themes or pretty much any movie theme. Like if you want to make uh, like just to simulate a drum environment, you could do things like, uh, you know... So triplet basically divides the beat into three units. That's that's all it's doing. It's dividing the pulse or your head movement or how you react to the song is in threes. It's in groups of three. So there are many kinds of triplets which we are going to see in this in this lesson. So do stay tuned. So I'd like to first talk about where we find triplets in music. I have mentioned this epic movie themes, you know, if you want to build, I'll show you a few more places. And uh, before we get cracking, it'll be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon for regular notifications. We do a lot of videos in a week and riffs and interviews and a few more things which are coming your way. So it'll be great to hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and do consider supporting us on Patreon where you'll get all my handwritten notes, MIDI files, notation and a lot more let's get started with the lesson so if you take like standard movie themes you can basically divide the beat by three let's say you take a d divide that by three of course playing just a single d is rather annoying so you can go some ambient dreamy stuff one two three one two three one you'll find triplets a lot in these movie theme scenarios you'll find triplets also in a lot of eastern music and indian music especially so if you take let's say this groove a very eastern and an indian vibe and incidentally this is also on triplets that one two three one two three triple it triple it anyway yeah you'll also find triplets in traditional waltz songs like for example That's in any waltz song. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one. You'll find triplets used a lot in these uh, ballad songs. The genre ballads generally tends to be on three or even six, eight songs. Like for example, mm, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord that stuff like that wise men say oh, oh, oh only fools ride in I found a love one two three four One, two, three. 
So it's inherently part of waltz music and six eight feel music. Uh, where else do you find triplets? I think at the end of sections of songs. So let's say you're dividing the beat by two by two units, and you're playing quavers. So if you do something like. can now sneak in a triplet at the end of this phrase at the end of the section okay so you're kind of retaining the tempo you're retaining the sp- the vibe of the song but at the end you're adding what i call as a filler or a role exactly what drummers do isn't it at the end of a groove doop so that was a triplet there are one two three tak okay and in india we use you we use a conical to count these things a lot we can say things like tak it tak it tak it tak it tak which feels really natural on the body so i would suggest checking out some of our other youtube videos where we talk about dividing the beat and i talk a lot about conical and how you can voice it out better yes you can also say one and a two and a three and a four and a, that can help you could even say tak it tak it tak it tak and so on and so forth uh, triplets you'll also find them a lot in uh, rap melodies rap vocal tunes a lot of the phrases are in triplets you'll also find them a lot in heavy metal music like you take riffs like you'll find it a lot in heavy metal metal stuff like dege 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 now triplets are not to be confused with a few other things which you may get confused with tresio which is a salsa latin rhythmic thing you don't want to confuse it with uh, dotted vibes you don't want to con- confuse it with dotted notes so there's another video in the description waiting for you where i explore what's the difference between triplet a salsa a tresio and also a dotted flavor and accents and all these other things which some of us musicians sometimes by mistake we call it triplets you know so let's get cracking with the use cases now of triplets which is pretty much what i had for you so i have presented five use cases let's get cracking the first one is what i call as rhythmic devices okay so what you do is you notate all the possible ways in which you can use a triplet a grouping in a beat of music so y- you can basically do all the th- all the three triplets in one beat or you could do the triplet only at the one and not do it at the two and the three 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1. this is just a crotchet isn't it tak it tak it or another interesting use of a triplet is this Yes, you guessed it. I'm not playing anything. A rest could also be visualized as a triplet. So, what do we have? You can make make some combos. Rest. Rest. are what i call as trivial triplet uh, com- combos or devices you could also do swing rhythm swing rhythm is anyways a sort of felt as a triplet with the middle one not played so that's a swing feel you count it as one triplet two, two three tak it tak don't play the middle one to feel it are things like roadhouse blues where you do like a swing and then you end with a triplet so okay what about the other triplet rhythmic devices you can uh, you can play at the first two and then not play at the third one you could do
then what can you do you can not play the one and then play the two and the three there we go then what else you can not play the one not play the three and play at the two there we go or you can not play the one and the two and play only at the three very bouncy so i have notated a few triplet patterns using rhythmic devices i suggest you check it out we've put it out on the screen but it'll be awesome if you can consider getting a copy on patreon there's an entire booklet waiting for you so you can go there and maybe use that as a supplementary resource for the lesson so let me just play you some of those combos which i have composed so the first one is da 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 Da, da. If you see the notation and a good way to to clap it or to uh, practice it would be snap one two three four da 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 ongoing da 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 da. Now you can play whatever on earth you want al along those hit phrases, along those hit points. You can play a melody. you can do chords okay what else do i have for you the next one da 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 dum ta ta da da ta dum ta ta da da ta da 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 so it's basically swing and then triplet dun da 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 dun da 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 very drum like da 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 dum 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 and then i've kind of expanded on that by doing dan ta dan ta dan ta ta na na dan ta dan ta dan ta ta ra ra dan ta na pam 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 One more rhythm which is sitting there is dum da 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 dum da 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 dum da 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 dum da 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 dum. Super easy. Da na 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 da na na. Just those are just some combos I put out. Now you could. make your own combos you could make your own patterns as well so let's now move on to the other approach i have for you to practice triplets i call this as tuplets or polyrhythms if you will so what you could do to start off is begin with an eighth note triplet maybe you take a d minor chord and arpeggiate it as one two, one now what you want to do is put a rest every alternate sub beat so 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a that's how a triplet would sound faster it's also called as a polyrhythm or, or a 3 over 2 polyrhythm cool thing on the piano is you can play one pattern here and you can play another pattern here so it's a very powerful instrument as we all know now along with quarter note triplets you also have half note triplets so you can make the triplet even more slower so da ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da now make it quarter note make it half note now which is really slow very groovy So 
that's a nice way to practice triplets like start with eighth note triplets which is da ga da da ga da da ga da da ga da then knock off some beats da tak ta dak tak cha dak tak making it quarter note triplets then knock off even more beats making it da ta ta da ta ta da ta ta dum da ta ta dum dum okay so let's now move on to the next style of using triplets you can use it within 6 8 time signature using 9 8 time signature using 12 8 or maybe even 15 8 so what do what do we mean by these time signatures all of these have a dominant beat every one out of three so a 6 8 will be 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 one you see the main clap is happening at the 1 and the 4 so that means it's packaged in threes or triplets 1 2 3 2 1 2 so you can even count it as 1 2 you could even feel it as a 2 4 1 2 or 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 4 similarly you have 9 8 which you can feel as 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then you do 12 wait very commonly used or 4 4 4 with packages of triplets and 1 2 3 3 4 2 3 1 2, 3. could write so you could visualize triplets like that 6 8 9 8 12 wait and you know weave your music around those hit points right so we also call this as uh, you know simple and compound time where you either package it as a bigger number 9 or 6 or 12 or you package it as a smaller number but you think in terms of triplets okay so we've done a lot of videos on triplets and polyrhythms and all these things uh, we've put a playlist also with all our rhythm videos so do check it out also on nathanielschool.com under the free tutorial section you can filter those lessons under topics which interest you in this case maybe rhythm or triplets and stuff like that let's move on right so using triplets in this methodology may not be officially triplets but it's basically trying to use sets of 3 instead of dividing the beat by 3 so to give you an example so if i take this thing f and play like that now i'm playing quavers in my right hand 1 and 2 and but what if i not make it feel like traditional quavers what if i make it feel like a grouping of triplets divide by 2 sets of 3 so Still four four one two three four. Okay. Now you could also do like sets of three to eventually resolve in a bar. Like you can do do the maths. So if you want to do sixteen uh, sixteenth notes, you can do what? Give me. Let's think of an example. Three plus three plus three plus three plus four equals sixteen, isn't it? So you could do things like. So these are not triplets these are just sets of 3 so i would probably call them as fake triplets if you want to give it a, ner- a term and you can come up with uh... well we can't come up with that that was already made by brian adams but you get a lot of songs which have that tak it tak it tak it tak it tak dimi tak it tak it tak it tak it tak dimi Okay so that was about the accented vibe moving on so we have 
general swing music generally if you think about it swing music is used a lot in blues and jazz so you have the triplet vibe in all those genres so if you take let's say let, let, let's try and convert something to swing that's what i uh, pr propose to tell you so if you take let's say this song i think you know this now if you want to bring in some swing you can bring in that vibe or you can in imbibe the swing within the tune itself bring in the triplets within the song itself you know you may not want to do that but you get the idea so you can use swing like give any song a bluesy or a swing vibe using the swing triplet feel okay and i have one more a final conclusion or a bonus point if you will wherein what if you could just add triplets to anything literally anything any song under the sun uh it's possible all you have to do is first play the song yeah uh, let let's take our favorite song now when you're playing this try to always feel the sub beats or feel the divisions of the beats not in da ga 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 da that's the semi quaver thing where you're dividing by 4 or maybe don't feel the danga 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 dang that quaver maybe you want to feel triplets which is 3 uh, so dag da 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 dag of course you're playing the same tune but in your mind you're feeling triplets so when you feel that you can bring it out on the piano or any instrument really so you see the point i hope i'm trying to convey you can go on and on with this uh, so try to add the triplet feel to your favorite songs and let me know in the comments how you found it you can even send us recordings you can uh, follow our instagram channel and uh, probably drop us a note if you record any of this stuff and you're you know proud to share it or you just want our feedback on whatever you've done right guys so in this particular lesson we've talked about triplets we've talked about six ways how you can practice or use them in your music or six approaches then we've in the beginning we also just looked at where we can find triplets in conventional music or in music in general okay so hope you found the lesson useful again do consider getting yourself a copy of the handwritten notes on patreon and that will also have notes of our previous lessons and our future lessons so that will be a great learning resource and again this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music don't forget to hit that like give the video a share leave us a comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and try to subscribe if possible like right now would be a great time not uh, uh, any other time apart from right now anyway thanks a ton guys cheers catch you in the next one